Hello, this is Kara with the Department of Technology. I'm going to show you some of the new features of Windows 10 and hopefully jumpstart your own exploration. At the end of the video, I'm also going to show you a couple of ways to save your files in offline mode so you can access them anywhere at any time. Let's get started. When you first log into Windows 10, your desktop should look something like this. It's not too different from what you may be familiar with Windows 7 or 8. However, if you click the Start menu, you'll notice it looks quite different. Programs are now called Apps, so clicking this All Apps button will show you all programs installed on the device, organized alphabetically. Power gives you shutdown and sleep options, while Settings is the new name for the control panel. This gives you personalization options and other settings. File Explorer is the new name for Windows Explorer, and if you click, you will get this familiar window with all your available files. If you click the white arrow, your most frequently used folders will appear here, and you can jump directly to them. These boxes are called Live Tiles, and you can customize this display with your own frequently used programs by simply right-clicking a program from the Apps list and selecting Pin to Start. You can then click and drag to rearrange tiles, or right-click and select Unpin from Start. You can also change the name of these sections simply by clicking on them. Or you can create a new section by dragging a tile until this long blue bar appears. Then click to give the section a name. You can adjust the size of the Start menu simply by clicking and dragging here. You can also change the size of the tiles. Just right-click, hover over Resize, and pick the size of the tile. If you prefer to just have your programs appear on the taskbar at the bottom of your screen for immediate access, you can still set that up. Just right-click the program, hover over More, then select Pin to Taskbar. Next to the Start menu is this new search box, which is mostly for interacting with Windows 10 Digital Personal Assistant Cortana. You won't be able to set up Cortana with your Park Hill information. However, if you click this box, you can quickly find your programs and files by simply typing in the name of what you are looking for. You can also access this feature by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard which will open the Start menu and put a cursor into the search box so you can begin typing immediately. Next to the search box, there is an icon called the Task View button. If you have several windows open, the Task View button will separate them out so you can find what you need quickly. You also have the option to create a second desktop, where you can have additional windows or programs open and still keep everything organized. For instance, you may want to have different desktops for different courses, or a personal and a school desktop. You can drag and drop windows from one desktop to the next, and switching between multiple desktops is as simple as clicking the Task View button and selecting the desktop you need. If you don't need an extra desktop anymore, click the X. Any windows you have open will be transferred to the remaining desktop. The Quadrants feature allows you to place up to four windows next to each other. This lets you view all of them at once. Simply click and drag the windows to the corners of the screen and they will snap into place. Or you can have two screens side by side by dragging the windows to the middle of either side of the screen. On the right side of the taskbar, you have several little icons which should be familiar to you. Battery status, Wi-Fi information, and volume control are all here. This icon will show system notifications similar to the flag in Windows 7, but it has an added feature. If you click it, this menu called the Action Bar will appear, giving you several toggle options for your device, similar to a menu on a smartphone. You can turn on tablet mode if you have a convertible device, turn Bluetooth on or off, and several other options. If you have a touchscreen device, you can also open this menu by swiping in from the right. You probably have an icon like this on your taskbar. It looks a lot like Internet Explorer, 
but this is actually Microsoft Edge, a new internet browser for Windows 10. You can still use Internet Explorer or Chrome if you prefer, but Edge has a couple of interesting features. When you visit a web page with an article or blog post, this icon that looks like a book will activate. Clicking it will enter Reading View, which removes all ads and external website links, allowing you to focus directly on what you are reading. This square icon is called the Markup Tool, and it allows you to make notations and drawings directly onto a web page and then share or save the page to a OneNote without ever leaving the browser. You can then add the page to a class notebook or share it like you would any other OneNote page. Finally, when you are saving files on your Park Hill laptop or desktop, you have a few different options. In the past, the Department of Technology has recommended that you save your files to your U Drive, so they are always available no matter where you are in the district. This is still a good option, but we want you to be aware of some changes. The Department of Technology has made offline files available. This means if you save a file to a folder within your U Drive, such as the Documents folder, you will be able to continue working on it even when you are away from the Park Hill network. Any changes you've made will automatically sync with the copy saved to your U Drive. However, this process is not always immediate and can cause a bottleneck on our network traffic when several files are trying to sync at once. Another option is to save the files to your OneDrive account. OneDrive is a cloud storage tool provided by Microsoft with Windows 10. Files can be uploaded, edited, and shared online, similar to other cloud-based tools like Google Drive and Dropbox. However, unlike Google Drive and Dropbox, OneDrive integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft Office products. Your Word, PowerPoint, and Excel documents can be edited directly on your OneDrive both on and offline with no need to convert them. To set it up, just open File Explorer and click on the OneDrive in the navigation screen. Sign in using your Park Hill email address and password. Follow the prompts to establish which folders to save to your OneDrive. Then, when you're saving a file, just choose your OneDrive in the Save As menu. Windows 10 has many useful features, and I encourage you to explore them on your own. If you have any questions, the Department of Technology is happy to help. You can submit requests through our online help desk system, or call us at extension 5000 between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Have a great year.